Good morning, traders. It is Wednesday, April 12th, 2017. The news is just coming out right now. Uh, just made a nice little move up here. Didn't make that big of a move. Let's take a look at it. 45 up to 68. Yeah, it's really not big, big move yet. Actually, it really did not make that big of a move on the news here. Anyway, I am going to take the trade that was called out within my charting service before it would ever happen. I call this a news day entry, and there are two of them. I'm going to take the first one and uh, see if the other one also goes in the same direction, or if it goes in the opposite direction, I'll take a reversal trade. Most likely, it'll go in the same direction, though, but not necessarily. Anyway, I will be back shortly to take a trade. What I'm going to do here is wait for the computer to tell me which direction it's going to go. The computer that's controlling the, all the markets leaves behind tells, and it's going to tell me which direction it's going to go. And then I'll take the direction. Very, very simple. It, a piece of cake, well, at least for me, anyway. Anyway, I will be back to take the entry. Okay, it looks like it's going to go down here, but the computer may give a uh, tell that it's going to go long. I'm still looking for the tell right now. I'll come back. Okay, I've got a long position here. Uh, stop is at 19. That's a larger stop than I realized when I took the position. Uh, if it does hit the stop, I will go short. Come back. It is moving up here a little bit. Just needed to keep on going. It did go up to what, 39 right there? Just needed to keep on going. I will be able to tell you once a breakout has happened, which will mathematically confirm a long position, which I could have waited for if I wanted to. But not only do I know the codes, but I know how the computer works. I know how they programmed it. And basically, in a nutshell, now listen to this very closely. I want, you to, I want this to sink in. You want to learn to trade? You want to learn to make money? Always do the opposite of what everyone else is doing. Always do, always buy when you think you should not buy. Always sell when you think you should not sell. That is the basis to, be, to being a trader. Now it gets more complicated than that since this is the code and you need to be able to know the codes because it's not really trading. So you want to know how the, tra how the codes work behind it, how the computer works behind it. Now if this really were trading then it would be a little bit different. But since it's not trading you can know in advance that it was programmed to trick you so that it would make you go short when you should go long. It would make you go long when you should go short. And it catches most people. Like for instance, one time I was doing a, a live demonstration at Online Traders Central. And you know, this one guy, I was about to take a trade, and this one guy, his oil started moving up. This one guy says, oh, well, it's easy, you know, to trade. I would j just buy right here. And right where he said to buy was right where the code said to go short. And I said, and I took the short position. So right when he said to buy, I went short. And of course I was right and it went down. He got caught. He got tricked into going long. Don't allow yourself to get tricked like that. Just always remember that it is a trick. Almost always. Not now, sometimes it'll continue to go in the direction. So if you would have taken the long position, it would keep going. If you take a short position, it's going down, it would keep going down. You need to know the code to be able to take a precision level entry to get it right most of the time. So always remember to think like that. This is why everybody loses their money. All the analysts out there, Jim Cramer, all these different people, they're all, they do what they do to trick people out of their money. That's the whole point. Just like when you walk into a casino, they don't want you to win. They want you to lose. They want to be your friend as long as you're losing. But if you start winning and taking their money, they don't want you there anymore. 
They don't want you to keep coming. And, you know, they don't want to be your friend anymore because they don't want to, to lose. It's the same thing with this. It's been programmed so that you will lose by tricking you on which direction it's going to go. And if you can just learn that, you've, you're already, you know, close to halfway there to being successful. Then you need to know the codes so that you can take precision level entries into the market and know how far that they will go. Like, for instance, I'm going for 40 ticks on this trade, which brings me up to like uh, 71 up here. So it's got to come all the way back up here above this bar right there to hit my exit. You know, how many traders think that it's going to go way up there? Not too many, I would bet. And I bet a lot of traders got tricked into going short right there. And going short when this was a red bar right there, when it looked like it was going to go down. And they got tricked into going short because they didn't know any better. They were just trading what looked like the chart. Not, and, and if this was really trading, it, it may have worked. But it's not really trading. It's a trick. And because I broke the codes, and because they work so well, I mean, the reason why it works so well is because I broke the code. And because of that, and you see how well it actually works, there's a lot of skeptical people out there who think this is some sort of a, a, a scam of some sort, uh, a Houdini trick of some sort. You know, I've had, I've had somebody tell me, you know, I don't know how you're doing it, but you're obviously pulling some type of Houdini trick. Well, <clears throat> the only Houdini trick I'm pulling is the fact that I broke the codes to the markets. And I know what it's going to do before it does it. I know how the programmers programmed it. So, anyway, that's where a lot of you are going wrong. You are being tricked to go the wrong direction because it has been programmed for you to be tricked. Again, let me say it again. You want to be a trader in general? This is your golden rule. Buy when you think you should not buy. Sell when you think you should not sell. If you can learn to do that, you can make money. That's what all professional traders learn or they don't become professional traders. You need the masses of people to be able to lose money so that you can make money. It's just like me when I played uh, blackjack professionally. I broke the blackjack code. By the way, I'm going to put that uh, video, my blackjack code video, up to, the, to YouTube soon. I want the world to know that I broke the blackjack code in 1988 when I was 21 years old. It took me three hours to break the code. Three hours to break the code. I'm actually the real blackjack player in Las Vegas. I'm the real person who made a whole bunch of money, and I will never talk about how much money. But I'm the I'm the real person. All these other people talking about card counting, all that is all absolute nonsense. So, and I am going to prove it. I'm going to put up my video, and I'm going to show what the code is it's for the world to see for themselves. So anyway. The reason why I make money playing blackjack is only one reason, one main reason anyway, is because everybody else loses their money. If they didn't lose their money, I wouldn't be able to make money because the casino needs to make money. So they need people to lose. And because they all do, I'm able to make money. And it, it's the same with real trading. In order for you to win, either somebody else has to lose. One of the reasons why I really like this, what I'm teaching here, is that there is no loser. The loser is the one behind this system, who programmed this system. You're taking money from the man, from the system itself. Of course, they hate that, of course. It's just like walking to a casino. You're able to walk into their casino and take their money from them. They're not happy about that very pissed off about that but you're not taking it from somebody else you're not taking it from your neighbor or another trader you're taking it from the system that's why I love teaching this I love people to make money at this because there, it's no competition to me you know a thousand traders out there five thousand ten thousand traders out there could be trading this it makes no difference 
you're simply taking money from the man, the system, the person, the people who are behind this, who have put this under control of a computer. Anyway, trying to uh, impart some insight so that you could start to learn how a real trader thinks. That's why, for instance, when housing shot up in 2006 and was just going crazy, I mean, um, my next door neighbor, you know, is getting uh, uh, cash bids for his house for $750,000. And he bought it for like 200000 or something like that, brand new. And it was only like, you know, five years old or something like that. In five years, it went up that much money. I mean, that's crazy. And he's getting cash offers for it, knocking at the door, asking if he wants to sell his house for, you know, $750,000 cash. I mean, you know, it's just insane. And I, I, you know, I told everybody, I told him, I told everybody I, I knew to sell immediately. It's time to sell. It's not going to keep going up. Who do you think the buyers are going to be? Where's the money going to come from? And people just didn't understand. It's the same way with trading. Learn how to get the trading mentality down. Buy when you think you should not. Sell when you think you should not. And you will win. Now, if you take a wrong position and you buy when you should not and it goes too far against you, you must have a plan to get out. You do not write anything down. But you see it start to bounce. You take a position. If it goes below the, the previous bounce, you get out. But if it keeps on going, you hold it. It's not that hard to make money that way in a real trading environment. Now, with the code, you can make money mathematically. Very, very simple. Very, very easily. You ever heard of people talking about, well, I tried the code and it, and it goes the wrong way. It goes the wrong way because you're being tricked into going the wrong way. You don't understand trading. You don't understand how they program this to trick you. Anyway, I have another code and it is possible that it could give a short entry here it probably won't because it did not go far enough just like yesterday but anything is possible so I am watching it right now if it does go short I will of course take a reversal position but mathematically speaking it most likely will not it will keep on going anyway I will come back and show you the progression or at least the outcome of this trade my exit is for 40 ticks up at 71 by the way, I have been selling my video courses since March of 2010. I have been teaching the codes since that time. And I have sold a lot of videos. And for all of you out there that have purchased my videos, I'd like to thank you for doing that. You have uh, helped me. You have helped yourself. And I am going to come out of I'm going to start helping all of you again by opening up either a trading room or a signals service because a lot of you out there even though what I've done is, is really good teaching the codes a lot of you just aren't traders and you're not going to be traders just like I'm never going to be a singer or a dancer or anything like that because I simply don't have that kind of talent to do something like that. And you don't have the talent to, to be a trader. So I will help you. You can rely on me and my expertise because obviously I'm very good at what I do. And you can rely on me to help you to make money. And maybe over time you, you will get it down and be a trader. But it does take time and practice and becoming very familiar with it over time like I've been doing this for 17 years so trading to me is like very very simple now so anyway I will come back and show you the progression and of, and of course the outcome of this trade but what it's gonna do most likely mathematically is go up and go hit my exit just like it did yesterday same exact thing and notice how I purchased down here down towards the bottom of the chart and when it gets all the way up here it'll look like I was some sort of a genius 
but all it really is is that I just simply know the code. I broke the code to the markets. Learn to think like a trader. Buy when you think you should not. Sell when you think you should not. And you are halfway there to being successful. I'll come back. By the way, you can actually make uh, pretty good money from Jim Cramer if you want to. Just always do the exact opposite of what he says to do. So, for instance, if he says to buy a stock, wait for it to pop and go up a bit because a lot of people follow him. And then go in and short it. Or if he says uh, not to buy a stock or something like that, look for it to, or to sell the stock, look for it to go down a bit because people will follow him and it will go down. And while everybody is selling following him there's buyers coming in buying and then it's going to go up they, they use him to to make money from the masses uh, CNBC is the same thing in general always do the exact opposite of what they say and you can make uh, good money if you follow what they say you absolutely will lose their you lose your money and it's being done on purpose it's 100% being done on purpose so just so you know how the game is played trading is a game you people must lose in order for you to win uh, I'll give you another story it was trading AMR which is American Airlines I forget what the year was though uh, let me think about it for a second I'll be right back well, let me think here I was trading this probably was somewhere around 2003 maybe 2004 2005 I don't really remember exactly when somewhere in that area and it was American Airlines and they were going bankrupt and I was watching CNBC and I was watching AMR and on CNBC it had in red and it said American Airlines going bankrupt all in red right and so people were selling heavy it went down to two dollars and fifty cents and I'm sitting there watching it and then all of a sudden, I saw, as, as I'm talking about, as CNBC was saying this, they're saying this for about 60 seconds. And as they were saying this, all this volume came in and, and, it, and it, all these people were selling. As these people were selling, I saw probably somewhere on the order of a thousand orders go through for approximately five million dollar orders. A thousand of them to buy. They came in on the bid, they came in on the ask, I mean, to hit the ask, and boom, they, they're coming in to buy. I followed them. I just bought two. Cause I, cause, because I knew that they knew what was going to happen. And they did know. Uh, sold for, I, I, I can't remember exactly how long, maybe two, three months later for like $10. You know, that's a 400% that's a four bagger. You always do, and, and, and believe me, when it was two dollars and fifty cents, and CNBC was saying, uh, you know, American Airlines to go bankrupt, that's a scary buy right there. You don't feel like buying right there. Again, you buy when you think you should not, and you can learn to be a trader and make money. That's how it's done. If you buy when you think you should, you're, you know, many times you're going to get. You're going to get uh, eaten alive. Not always. You know, if you'd have bought Qualcomm anywhere up to a thousand, you'd have made it. You know, if you'd have bought Bitcoin, you know, anywhere up to a thousand, you'd make it. You know, but uh, those th those uh, opportunities don't come around every day. I'll come back. Or let's take a gold. Gold, you know, was trading at uh, two dollar, uh, two hundred fifty dollars at like uh, nineteen ninety one. I remember and then you know it shot up to uh, two thousand dollars we might get a roll over here I'm looking for I'm gonna take the breakout if it happens uh, but it shot up from seventeen hundred to two thousand very quickly and it shot from nineteen hundred that last hundred to two thousand in one day it just shot up really super fast now imagine how many people it caught going long and then it reversed and came all the way down and now it's what at twelve hundred or so whatever you know and it went down even further went down like close to a thousand I believe so it lost half its value you know 
Imagine going short right there at the 2000. You know, it would be the most scariest short you'd ever take in your life. But that is when you short, when you think you should not. And you have to get good at that, though. You know, you can't just short anywhere. You short at a capitulation point where it shoots up and then you go short. Same thing with oil. It shot up to 147, which is high. And, you know, the short on that was very, very scary. But you always short when you think you should not. It's like when oil was going down and it hit a low of like, what, 30 or something like that? 32 or something like that? Uh, you know, that's a scary buy. But you always buy when you think you should not. And you can learn how to do that, take a little practice, and you could be successful with trading anything because that ha that's how it works. Okay, uh, the first trade, first code that I took is not as powerful as the second code here is. Uh, I'm going to be following this code. Hang on, I think I got a breakout. Be right back. Okay, I do have a breakout. I have gone short. So I have a mathematical breakout of the second code that I called, and it is going to go down here now. And all you have to do is know how the codes work mathematically, and you can take one successful trade after another on the oil futures market using code 2. Let me set the stop. I will be right back. Okay. Uh, stop is actually set up here at 50 had to put a big, per, fairly big stop on it I uh, don't have any choice that's where the code says to put it and but as you can see here now didn't need to wait for the breakout I mean didn't need to wait for it to break this low like most traders would do um, and last night it looked like this yesterday I should say it looked like it's night for me uh, last night it looked like this and then it went back the other way but today it's not going to do that today it's going to go down and I know because I know what the code is and I know and I'm using a breakout technique I'm not even using the code 1 or anything I'm using a breakout technique using the code 2 this is a mathematical certainty that it's going to go down the only way it wouldn't go down is if I was wrong about the code which is highly unlikely so it's going to go down it may pop up a bit but it won't hit the stop and then it will go down uh, how far down I'm not exactly sure um, I'm gonna go for we have a looks really good on the daily here you see we got a nice red bar on the daily nice top that's exactly what I said it would do too for the for the news day so it's doing exactly what I said now it needs to it needs to follow through and come down a bit and I'll be able to hit that exit for 40 ticks no problem which it'll probably hit but I might switch it to 30 it just depends on how long it takes um, how much it really wants to start going down that type of thing and I may just go for 30 but I think it'll hit 40 uh, this code was good for 60 ticks yesterday and I only went for 30 I should have went for 40 uh, on this one if it does 60 again I will, but I am using a breakout technique, so I'm giving up some uh, ticks here. Let me take a look. 40. We put it down to 80, and where's my exit at? 84. Yeah, I'm pushing it a little bit. I'm going to go for just 30 here. That will increase my mathematics right there. Increase my math pretty good. So anyway... This thing is going to go down. See, now it's popping back up here. Watch. Let's go take a look at the 10 minute. Oops. i reset that. Now just imagine traders are, you know, scratching their head and trying to think, does this thing want to go down? Does it want to go up? They don't know. You know, it's really choppy. They're trying to make anything they can in here. It's really hard. But if you know the code, you know where to enter, where to place your stop, and where to get out and be successful. There is no better trading system than that in the world. Anyway, I will come back, show you the progression, and or at least the outcome of this trade. By the way, I did call out uh, four trades again today. And 
but I did say that the first two trades were risky because it just depends on whether oil would move prior to the news or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So it's relatively risky. It's better to wait till the news, news comes out than take the news day entries, which is what I'm doing. However, for the record, I would like to say that both of the codes that I called out have worked. Now I'm in, now I took the, the third code and that said to go long. It didn't go very far. And then it rolled over on the fourth code and the fourth code said go short. So this is where I'm at now. I'm short in, with using the fourth code. This code is going to be uh, a good code here and should work for the 30 ticks with very little difficulty. It may work for more, may work for 40 ticks or, or even more. But, um, but anyway, all, if, let's assume this one works. Uh, three of the codes will have worked. The third one that I, the, what, the first one I took, or the third one that I called, that one really didn't work. It only went up a little bit and really didn't work, which is not abnormal. Um, lately, it's been working fantastic, but today it just didn't want to work that well. But this code here will work perfectly. Anyway, I will come back. Now, if it does move down quickly towards the exit, like doesn't take too much longer, like let's say another half hour, I'll probably go for an extra 10 ticks. But I want to see it move down there pretty quick. I'll come back. But now, look at the choppiness of the trade. This is where a lot of you traders are getting fooled, you know. You, you, you see it. You, you just want, if you're short, you just want to see it go down, 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 down. You can't ride it through the pops back up again, you know, and you're, you're getting out too early. You're getting scared. When you lose, though, you know, it just goes up or goes down right to your loss, and you just take the full loss, um, and you're not able to hit the winners because it's shaking you out. That's the whole point of all of it is to shake you out. You know, you have to know the code, and you just have to, You, you know, here, here's, a, here's a lot of the problem. I've been doing this for many years. I'm the one who broke the code. So nobody knows the code better than me. And nobody, you know, knows the code and, and believes in the code more than me. You see, but there are people out there who, who see it with their eyes, but they don't believe it. They're just like, no, it's just a coincidence. It's just a... Um, it's just a happenstance. It, it's not something that can be relied upon. But you see, I thought that too at first, many years ago. But I've seen it over and over and over, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times. Therefore, I no longer question whether it's real or not. I just know with it that it's real. And a lot of you don't know that. Even though you see it with your own eyes, your brain doesn't believe it. You think, no, this, this is not going to happen. It's not going to do it. And I, I'm not sure how to overcome that except for with experience. You need to see it over time. That's why so many people are in my charting, for instance, because they're seeing it every day. This is helping them to learn and to understand and to hit the trades and to believe in what they're seeing. When you see it over and over and over again, you have no choice but to believe. Anyway, I'll come back. Like, I'm going to start doing seminars in Bangkok, Singapore, and Hong Kong. And I'm going to show on a big, big screen, you know, the, the, the scene, what you're seeing here projected onto a big, big screen with hundreds, hundreds of people coming for free to take a look and to watch me get trades right over and over again and they will absolutely 100 percent be flabbergasted by it and they will have no choice but to accept it as being real i mean their first inc inclination will be okay this is some sort of a scam how is he doing this you know but they'll be looking on their own laptops and seeing the price and following along going yeah but it's on my laptop how could it be a scam if it's on my laptop too if it's coming from a feed from my broker or or whatever 
or, or CNBC and you can see the chart and you can see the price and everything you know how could it possibly be a scam and they'll be keep thinking to them to themselves you know that you know where's the scam at where is it at you know there's got to be somewhere so where is it and they'll just be very skeptical but at some point the light will click on and say okay there's only one possible explanation that this really isn't a scam and this must be real of some kind but a lot of people are incredibly skeptical like for instance one time this guy you know he says man I'll buy your course just show me in person you know, this is when I first started selling the courses and he said just show me in and show me in uh, online you know we'll go on Skype together you show me some tr a trade and then I'll buy your course so I went I said okay okay you know I mostly just wanted to prove to him that's real right not that I really needed him to buy but I just wanted to prove that it's real and so I go in there and I take a trade and I get it right and he says okay uh, yeah yeah okay but uh, take one more I said all right I, I took another trade and I got it right he said okay but you know t take one take another one and I was like yeah, okay man you know and I took another one and got it right got three in a row right and he said ah, you know could you could you take another trade I was like listen buddy I have showed you you know you're taking skepticism to a whole new level here now this is getting to be a bit ridiculous and so this is why I don't do that sort of thing anymore. I am going to uh, show people by the hundreds, invite the news to come out, and I want the news to make to report on this and to report that this trader, whoever he is, he says that he's broken the code, whatever, the markets or something, and uh, he's able to get these trades right over and over again. We watched it with our own two eyes. It's not some sort of a scam. That's what I want to happen. I want people to wake up and to realize that all this is real. There's two reasons for that. Number one, obviously I profit from it. Number two, I am opening up people's eyes to what's going on so that they can understand the level of corruption that they are living under is mind boggling. And obviously the people who have put this under control of a computer don't want me to teach it to people. They don't want people to know. And you know what I have to say about that? Tough luck. Too bad. Suck it up. Gang stalking doesn't stop me. Slandering doesn't stop me. Nothing is going to stop me. Anyway, I will come back. Oh, and they've also threatened to put me in jail many times. Um, you know, they'll make something up about you, you know, just like they went to all the places that I would go in, in um, the USA, the stores I would go to, and they would tell them lies about me. And, um, you know, this is what they do. And, you know, I'm not afraid of that either. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of them thinking that they can put me into jail. It's them who needs to go to jail. Not me. Anyway, imagine the traders being faked out here. I mean, they're really scratching their heads right now. I mean, you got a, you got a red bar, you got a green bar, you got a green bar, you got the spike on the news, and uh, you've got a red bar, then you've got a green bar, then you've got uh, another spike with a red bar, and then another red bar, and then a red bar, and now we have a green bar. I mean, they are really wondering which direction this thing wants to go, and they really don't know. And yesterday it looked, you know, very similar to this with three breakdowns and um, three lower lows and it went up and I knew that it would go up. It took a long position. Now, they, but they don't know because they don't know the code. They don't know the computer that's, that's uh, behind this. But I do and I've got a short position now instead of a long position and it's going to go down. Um, and just imagine if they knew what I know how much they would want to know this information instead of beating their head against the, the wall trying to get the direction right having to keep taking small little losses when they get it wrong and it just keeps chopping back back and forth up and down up and down and it's really hard you know trading is not easy when it's like that simple for me I got a short position I'm just sitting here holding it and watching it and watch and eventually it's gonna go down and I'll hit the exit and it'll be done piece of cake 
I'll come back. Imagine, though, for a moment that if this were really trading and somebody were to make that bold claim like that, that would be absurd. There'd be no mathematical way to know anything like that. Because real trading, anything can happen at any time. All of a sudden, somebody could come in and take out this ask right here and just keep hitting the ask as it goes up and, and, and follow it up with the bid and make it go up. I mean, it happens all the time in real trading. There would be no way to know what's going to happen in the future. All you can know is what's going to happen in the very immediate by looking at the level two, the bid and the ask, and seeing which way it's going and then watching the tape watching the cells and the asks. Cell, uh, cells go, or come through as red and, and uh, uh, buys at the ask come through as green. And you can watch that tape and watch the bid and the ask, the level two, and be able to determine what it's about to do only in the immediate now or, or in, in the immediate future, like 30 seconds from now, one minute from now. Anything more than that is absolute speculation because anything can happen. So real trading is, is much more dynamic and much more complicated and much more diverse than this is. This is basic mathematics, very simple, all based upon the code or the computer that's moving the market. Like I said, it is the ultimate trading system in the world. Anyway, look at it now. You know, a lot of traders are going to think, oh, green bar, followed by another green bar, maybe going up here, you know? Look how it's faking them out to go up now. And they're thinking, oh, okay, bottomed out, bottomed out, bottomed out. It's making higher, higher lows, green bars. Looks like it's going to go up, you know? The program, programmers, are faking them out into going long. Because since I know the code, I know it's going to go down. Now, do you see what something like that is worth? It is worth an absolute fortune to know that information. I'll come back. It's starting to make its move here down. Uh, remember yesterday when it was just, you know, moving, it was bouncing off, and then all of a sudden it just shot up really quick. The faster it moves like that, the more likely it is to go further. So if it starts to shoot down here, it's likely to go further than the 30 ticks. Likely I could squeeze an extra 10 out of it and get 40. So if it does start to shoot down, I will quickly change the stop, I mean the, the exit for 40 ticks, an extra 10. Otherwise, I'll just if it just messes around up here, it doesn't go down very quickly, just kind of you know, creep inchwor inchworms its way down. I'll just keep the 30 because it's just going to get late. What time is it out here? It's uh, 22:55, which is 10:55, so almost 11 o'clock here, 11 p.m. Uh, here in Thailand. So I'll just let it hit the 30 ticks. No big deal. I'll come back. In other words, if I turn my back on this trade, I want to keep the math very high. And 30 ticks is keeping the math really high. That's pretty high math. It's, it's, um, it's, it's good 80%, perhaps a little more. So, always good math when you can get it up that high. In contrast, when I played blackjack, even knowing the code and breaking the code to blackjack, I still only had about a 65% success rate. But even with that success rate, I mean, make a lot of money from that. A lot of money. So, being able to hit 80% trades is, uh, you know, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Starting to make another little move down here, but uh, it's definitely inch warming its way down. So, unless it makes a quick drop here, I'll just go for the 30 ticks, and it's going to take it down to 52.94. Come back. Now let me show you where a lot of you traders make a mistake again, all right? Here you are sitting in a trade and you know, you see you got some profit and you you're you start thinking, "Oh, but what if it starts going back up again?" And then what if I lose on the trade? You know, I could have taken a little bit of a win, but you know, I would hate to lose now. Or you get scared and you put your stop break even or something. 
you know, you can't do that and win at trading. You must hit trades. It's absolutely mathematically essential to hit trades. Like, for instance, when I played blackjack, I would always go for approximately double my units. And I started with 20 units when I, each time I played. And I would always go for about double the units. Sometimes I would only make 15 units. Sometimes I would make 30 units or even 40 units. I would never put a limit on it. But I would always go for that because I needed to win those. In other words, that's playing one to one. When I lose, I lose 20 units. When I win, I need to make 20 units to, to, to cover the, the each time I lose. Now I just need to win more times than I lose, and I and I make it. And sometimes I get I hit a nice pop and I get 30 units, uh, sometimes even 40 units. But I'd always pull it after that point. I'd pull it, take it, and leave. I wouldn't try to make any more. And do that every single time. My my whole goal to go into the casino and play was to go in there and get out of there as fast as I could. If I could go in there and make 20 units in 10 minutes and then leave, that's exactly what I did. And, and many times that would happen. But I averaged about an hour inside the casino. I'd never like to go over an hour because it would start to wear, wear me down. I just you know, hate going in, inside there. But um, so I always play that way, and it worked fantastic. You know, I honed that honed that uh, that uh, technique down from from you know from playing uh, on a professional basis, and uh, that always worked the best for me. Instead of trying to stay there and make as much money, start to get mentally tired, and um, it just wear me. Now I know some people love casinos, so it's easy for them to stay there, but not for me. I hated them. And um, so you have to think about that you must hit trades. Otherwise, you'll never make it. So, you know, you should think to yourself and say, okay, this one's either going to be a winner or a loser. If it's a winner, it's going to go down to the exit. If it's a loser, it's going to go up to the stop. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do one of the two. And the one thing that you never want to do is get out somewhere and you didn't and it did go down to the exit that is like the worst thing that you can do so how can you prevent that never get out either let, let it hit the exit or let it hit the stop now work on getting it right more times than you get it wrong and you'll come out a winner oh also you know sometimes you can't always do this but you're also trying to make more ticks on the winner than you're making then you're losing on the loser. Always try to do that. Now on this particular one, I have a very big stop, but there's nothing I can do about that. The code says to put the stop there. Now one thing I can do is up the math by reducing my exit. Now if I try to go for 40 ticks on this trade, my math will be reduced. Probably from like around 80 to around 65, 70. And that's a significant reduction in the, in the mathematics better to keep the math high. Always think mathematically when, you, when you're doing this type of thing because it, it is mathematics. Actually, everything is mathematics, but I will come back. Also, another mistake I think a lot of you are making in the videos that I teach, I always used to use a break-even stop, but that was for the code 1, not really for the code 2 and I never use break even stops for the code 2 anymore as you can see I use the the original stop and never change it because the the mathematics says to do that it's the best way to play mathematically so don't get scared and put that break even stop in anymore if you're using the code 2 and using it properly, obviously. And um, because it's typical for this thing to pop back up, up to the entry right there, somewhere around there, and then continue to go down. It's typical. It does that all the time. So mathematically, you're just going to gonna waste your time. You're just going to get stopped out and waste your time. You know? And you don't want that. You want to hit the trade. Patience. Try to sit in the trade and not worry about it. You know, 
one thing that really helped me before I started trading I was uh, in the 90s I was playing professional blackjack and you know uh, I've said this story before so if you've heard it I'm sorry but I'm going to state again about I was watching Star Trek The Next Generation this little kid lost his family and uh, he was in a lot of pain and he didn't you know he didn't want to feel this pain and he saw Data which is a robot an android and Android doesn't have any feelings. So he thought, hmm, that would be great to not have any feelings so I wouldn't feel this pain of losing my parents, right? So he'd be wanting to become like an android with no emotions. I thought, hey, that's a great idea because when you go and you play blackjack, I mean, your emotions are all over the place every time, you know, you're like, you know, trying to, you know, if you, if you get the, 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 the 20 or the 21 and you win, you know, your emotions go up and you're, you're happy. And then when you, you know, when you lose, you know, like, uh, you got a 20 and the dealer pulls a 21 on you and then your, your emotions go down. So your emotions are constantly going up and down. And if you're, and if you're doing that, it just wears you out. So I came up with the idea that well, I'm going to be like a rope an Android too. I'm not going to have any emotions. I'm just going to go in there and play it mathematically every time without emotion. What would an android do? How would an android think? Android just looks at it mathematically. Doesn't have any emotion about it. Just plays the best game mathematically that they can. And that's what I started doing. That really helped me to start to learn how to control my emotions. And I, of course, you know, already had that skill when I started trading, which really helps to not have emotion about the trade if you understand the trade mathematically what you need to know need to do learn the code understand it mathematically how it works where you should stop should be where the exit is, uh, should be and you you know that take the emotion out of it just play it mathematically don't worry about the trade try not to think in terms of money think in terms don't don't keep looking at the money think in terms of the trade itself will it be a successful trade yes or no forget it the money will come later don't worry about that it's the money that gets in the way it's the money that you're afraid to lose it's the money that you're that you're afraid to to win because you don't want to hold it down to the win you want to get out earlier to take some profit because the last two trades you lost and now you're just trying to take some profit to get back to even again. Forget about getting back to even again. You have to hit trades. Take the emotion out of it. It'll really help you. Okay, it's getting closer here to the exit. I very well may be able to get 40 ticks on this trade, but it's late here. What time is it now? It's 11.20. So, I basically just want to get out of this trade and get ready for bed and go to sleep so um, I'm just gonna go for the 30 but if you were trading in the States and you know you wanted to go for 40 you probably could you just need to manage the trade or wait for a while you know for it to go down even more but there's no guarantee that it will go down more 30 ticks is a good exit on this particular one mostly because I had to use a breakout technique on the last trade which I gave up ticks on anyway I'll come back okay I just bailed on this trade just exited and because it's late here it's what uh, 1133 now p.m. and I don't want to stay up any longer I'm gonna go to sleep woke up too early this morning for some reason I couldn't sleep so uh, I'm behind on sleep right now very tired so I'm just going to call it a day, call it a night, and um, I'll be back tomorrow to, on, well, I'll be back today for most of you in the USA to do the charting and to call out the trades for Thursday, and then I'll be back for Thursday's trading, and I'm not going to upload the video to YouTube right now because I'm going to go to sleep, so I'll do it when I get up in the morning, and I'll upload this video. Anyway, I hope you traders are doing well. I hope you hit the trade with me today. Maybe you're still in it, looking for more ticks. You'll probably be able to get it. Just going to have to wait a little bit while it pops back up again. 
Um, but it did go 40 ticks already. It's possible on the news day that it won't go anymore. It's possible to pop back up and go sideways. So today, not such a great day, but it will get better as the market picks up. Anyway, I will see all of you tomorrow. Tomorrow for me, today for you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're learning. Hope you're being inspired by the codes. And I will see you tomorrow. Happy trading.